this video, we will solve the logarithmic equation log base 3 of x plus 3 minus log base 3 of x minus 5 equals 2. On the left side, we have a difference of two logarithms. To condense these two logarithms into a single logarithm, we will use the quotient rule. The quotient rule tells us that we can write a difference of two logarithms as a logarithm of a quotient. That is, log base b of x minus log base b of y equals log base b of x over y. Then according to this rule, on the left side we will have log base 3 of x plus 3 over x minus 5 and on the right side we will have 2. Now, once we have a single logarithm on one side, we will rewrite this logarithmic equation in exponential form. That will be x plus 3 over x minus 5 equals base 3 raised to the second power. So again, in this logarithmic equation, if we raise base 3 to the second power, we will get the result x plus 3 over x minus 5. Then 3 to the second power equals 9, so x plus 3 over x minus 5 equals 9. Now, to solve this equation, we will multiply both sides by the denominator x minus 5. Then, on the left side, x minus 5 will cancel, and we will bring down x plus 3. On the right side, we will use distributive property, and 9 times x is 9x, and 9 times negative 5 is negative 45. From here, I will have both constants on the left side and x on the right side. That will be 3 plus 45 equals 9x minus x. Then 48 equals 8x. If we divide both sides by 8, we will get that x equals 6. So we got the solution to this equation but now we have to check if 6 is also a solution to the initial equation. We have to do this because sometimes when we use the properties of logarithms to solve logarithmic equations, we might end up with extraneous solutions that are not solutions to the original equation. Recall that in any logarithm, the base has to be positive and not equal to 1, and the result has to be positive. In the first logarithm, if we replace x with 6, then 6 plus 3 is positive. And in the second logarithm, if we replace x with 6, 6 minus 5 is also positive. Therefore, now we can say that 6 is the solution. Thank you for watching.